on a diagram. All right, so this is what a control chart looks like, all right? So again, here are your upper and your lower specification limits, right? Which are set by the customer, requirements set by the customer. So if you have a data point outside of the upper or lower specification limits, it's automatically, ooh, it's out of control. Find an assignable cause, right? Why are the control limits more stringent than the um, specification limits? What do you guys think? Yeah, very, yeah, very well said, Mark. Very well said. All right. So you might see one of these on the exam, an actual one that looks just like this, a control chart, right? And they'll give you some um, data points like they have here. So if this is the mean here, all right, so it fluctuates, right? You have a data point here. You have one here. Nothing wrong, right? Things are moving along nice and smooth, you know, that's varying back and forth, back and forth. Then you jump over here, which is called the rule of seven, right? So if you have seven consecutive data points that are either above or in this case below the mean, it's out of control, right? Find an assignable cause. All right, so you want to know what the seven run rule is. And you also want to know, you know, who sets the upper and lower spec limits and who sets the control limits. So if something is outside of the... Um, the uh, upper or lower spec limits, then it's considered rework, right? Because it no longer meets the requirements set by the customer, right? As opposed to if something is up outside the upper or lower control limits, it might not necessarily be rework, right? It could be something you could fix, right? You find an assignable cause, you might be able to fix it, right? Because it's still within the requirements set by the customer, right? That's why the whole idea is that you're going to set the limits more narrow or stringent than you would the um, upper and lower specification limits. Anyone have any questions so far over control chart? You guys feeling pretty comfortable? Let's see what you guys got coming in. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Mark. So the seven-run rule, basically, right? So you have the mean here. So let's say this mean is, let's just assign it a number, 300, okay? So that's the mean, okay? So, you know, you maybe have a data point here that's at 290, all right? And then the next data point bounces up to where it's, well, then you have one that hits the mean, right? Then you have another data point that maybe is at 310, all right? So things are going back and forth, but you never consistently have seven or more data points that are either above or below the mean, right? Then let's move along down the process here. All of a sudden, boom, look at right here. Right here, you have seven consecutive data points that are below the mean, right? So that just means the process is out of control. Find an assignable cause. So basically, all the rule of seven is is when you have seven or more, and the key here is consecutive data points that can be either below or above the mean. All right, does that help, Mark? And then Matthew, I'll tackle yours here. All right, let's see. Yeah, yeah, so spec limits, upper and lower requirements set by the customer. Internally are set the control limits, and then yeah, seven run rules are above or above, seven consecutive points. Very well uh, said there, Matthew. Good little nutshell there. But yeah, so it's got to be consecutive data points, okay? So I'll throw this out there for you guys too. On the exam, you might see something where they give you, okay, they ask you which of the following processes is out of control, all right? And they'll tell you, okay, the mean is 300, we'll say, okay? And they'll give you um, a long list of numbers for option A, B, C, and D. And your job is to you know figure out which process is out of control. Well, a lot of times what happens is a lot of people start looking for, okay, well, they tell you again what the limits are, right, along with the mean. A lot of times people are strictly looking for that seven-run rule, okay? 
but then they failed to see that, oh, wow, maybe they had one data point where it was outside of the specification limits. And so if you don't pick that one, you're going to miss the question, right? Because all you need is one data point outside of the specification limits, right? To make it out of control, right? It's rework, right? Does that make sense? So if you come across a question where they simply give you a long list of numbers, pay very good attention, all right? And make sure, I know you guys, everyone goes and looks for the, um, the da you know, the seven run rule, but make sure there's not a data point that is outside of the spec limits, okay? Because that'll boom, that triggers it right away. But are you guys good with the uh, control chart? All right, very good.